Utah's mask mandate has now been in place for nearly two months with no citations. Tonight, the police chief tells us there's a reason for that. KETV News Watch 7's Emily Tenser has the exclusive interview. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmader tells KETV his officers are enforcing the city's mask mandate now nearly two months in. We're pleased with, I'm pleased with the fact that we haven't had to issue any citations. I think that's a good thing. Since the start of the mandate, the police department says it conducted 175 compliance checks with zero citations. We're looking to make sure that everybody's wearing the mask. We're not looking to make sure that we tally up a bunch of arrests. That's not the barometer of success. The barometer of success is are we receiving compliance? The chief says officers would cite people if they flat out refuse to wear a mask. We have told the officers to make it a priority, but when you get called, if you can achieve compliance by just your presence and by asking them to put a mask on, and then educating, by all means do that. In the old market, shoppers see a mix of people following the mandate and those who don't. I haven't come into any sort of situation where I felt police need to be involved um, to require masks. I'm seeing a lot less people wearing their masks than I do in Maryland. And it's, it's surprising to me. At the Shahi India Grill, Kamala Dulal says dine-in customers follow the rules, but she says that's not always the case when it comes to those to-go orders. It's so hard to convince them because they're just picking up and go because food is ready, but we try to tell them, you know, we, we, we need a max. So when there isn't a long wait, we offer them a max to wear it. Chief Schmader says the police department encourages everybody to wear a mask. So let's take every precaution we can. There, there is a, a mask ordinance in place, and it's there for a reason to try to help the, and curb the spread of the, of the virus. You could face a $25 fine for not following the mandate. Right now it runs through November 24th, but we've already seen the city council extend it twice. Reporting in the newsroom, Emily Tensor, KTV News Watch 7.